I'd like to try and match double A. I'm assuming they do the same system for everything. I like the idea of that for this great company. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right. I've had fun. Um, obviously, I just want to start off by saying thanks for helping me. No um, fun. Been good fun. Yeah. Is it the first time doing a layout at a railway. Not a railway. A, a layout at an exhibition. An exhibition layout. Yeah. So, yeah. When, when did you actually start the, the build? Uh, the, the, the kind of the official start. I think it was about six weeks ago. I need to check my YouTube video. So when I launched the first video, I would have spent like two or three days editing. So go back from there and you can figure out there. So it's, to, you know, to get a layout from just empty baseboards, playing baseboards to this in six weeks and add an exhibition and work in. Yeah, yeah, the job gets in the way. Um, yeah, so uh, if I could quit my job, obviously no one at work so do this in, um, <laughs> you'd get all this done much quicker. Um, the, the thing is, like, when, when you've not got a lot of time, you have to be efficient. What am yeah. I doing? So you just plan a bit better yeah. and then you could kind of in one way slap things together you know it's a very simple uh, system of a layout um, which has um, one track going over it the station's the most complicated because it's got two points yeah. on it um, after that really you've got the siding with a point which I'm not using it's just more decorative um, after that the hardest bit was the bridge to do really the most fun bit was making the trees okay um, the trees were a lot of fun I, I'd been putting off the idea of doing sea foam trees before yeah. um, so you get to that stage get the sea foam spray it brown get a bit of glue on the on the edges of the branches put some flock on whatever you like it, it, it's been good but it, you, you know, I suppose you expand that now and do start to do shrubs and yeah. you know brambles and all the rest yeah, it's well, a learning experience as you're doing it you wonder well, what else could I do um, and there's a bit so I put some growth of bushes but then it's just one type of colour and I'm like if someone said what type of bushes are I'm like, I don't know it's, it's a, a bush um, Whereas with the trees now, I'm like, well, shall we do an apple tree trees, one day? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you, and you look at trees, like the more you, more you do model things, you look at the real things and looking outside at that far yeah. barn, we've got some nice, really tall trees there. That's, what's it, five times the size of a Lego kind of Absolutely. thing. I'm like, okay, right, could, that would, might disappear off the top of my layout. But you would think, you think, oh, this is a big tree. No, it's a baby, yeah. what I've done. So that's, that's an interesting yeah, point. It's, a, it's a learning curve, isn't it? A big ex learning experience. Yeah. It? Whatever you do, next time you want to do something a bit different and yeah. try something different. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and try and do it better. But yeah. also accept that what I've done is maybe good enough. So when I go and do my loft layout, um, there's a scenario now that yeah, I could put these trees on because they're good enough and that will look good. Yeah. Um, but as before, I'm not sure, and I'll buy some trees because clearly I can't make anything as good as I can buy. Yeah. But actually, no, I, I can. can. Yeah. Can. Uh, and that's, that's, a, that's a modeler's issue, really, isn't it? We, we always assume whatever we're doing, oh, it's probably not good enough. But actually, it is good enough. Just have a go and do it. Absolutely. Right. And what have you found with this doing in the sections? Have you made you more focused on one section to work on it and get it done and then move on to the next? Or It's made it more fun um, because the, the principle of this is there was four themes. You had the siding, station, woods and bridge. So when I got to the bridge, I'm just doing a bridge. I'm not doing this whole layout where I've got to think out the bridge and do all these other things with it. The hardest bit was like with the station because I had the water tower, I need to draw and print that, I need to scratch build a building, do the station platform. It was not more lethargic, but it, it used up more of my time. Yeah. And I thought, I'm running out of time here. I thought I'd do the station and one build. That's why it's part one and part two on my videos. Um, but it, then the modules keeps it interesting and it keeps you open to do whatever you like on the next bit all the time. Shall we stop the video now and have a look at the... So 
this is the first section you worked on? That's right. Um, the siding is the name for this part. I should put a little label underneath it. Um, the idea was kind of more of a diorama looking section. So a, a kind of almost derelict siding. Um, you've got an old hut building business, T Lane from Tunnel Lane, Modern Railways. When I went and visited Dan, um, I was well fortunate enough that he gave me that little building. It was a little tester one from a I think one of the suppliers that do buildings, they didn't even release it in the end, I understand. And uh, I said, oh, can I have it? <laughs> I was cheeky. He said, of course you can. So that was, that was really nice. Um, so then I kind of basically go around that. So I got that. So the business might have then offloaded onto a little van and obviously taken that. Um, I got to practice the idea of doing the um, swept edge. So as this comes down, so I got to practice that idea because I really like the idea of when you're filming it, you haven't got a hard edge. So it gives it something more for the eye to look at. My regrets are is I didn't block the the entrance or exit as well as I could have. Um, on the other end, I added some trees. So if I go back, I'm going to add some trees and try and yeah. blend it in, make a tunnel portal maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I suppose, it, it, again, it's the, it's the learning experience, the layout evolves, and, you know, you've realised you've made, I suppose, I don't want to call it a mistake, mm -hmm. but you've realised that, you could do things slightly better next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. You, you kind of think, oh, that will do. But by the time you finish, you think, no, 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 I want to change that. But actually, the rest of them, I'm kind of happy with. I didn't add any point motor or point control on that one. And I wish I did now with my little metal rod. But I don't know how much I'll play with it. But in the future, maybe I will do something. You can drop some bits off and then go off to something again, else. Again, it's something, you know, whether you put it under the board and, and, and it's a big, you know, again, learning experience. Mm. And yeah. Next time, so yeah. we move along from there to board number two, which hopefully yeah. we'll be able to pan round and see. Yeah. So that's the station, um, and that one I kind of did the most research on, arguably, um, looking at how the even though it doesn't look like much, the little huts, the, the, the little station hall T building that people go and wait in the waiting room. Um, that was a scratch built one based off what I'd seen. The ones that um, I don't even want to try and say the name of the area, but on the wider <laughs> line one of the little stops had that. Um, the water tower, I had a big interest in the water tower, so I modelled it based off the ones that I've seen in the picture. Um, I 3D printed that and then painted it up. Um, I called it Why Not Vale, uh, Why Not Vale, sorry. Um, and that's just Tony backwards, because Tony's Trains of Rugby was the one that encouraged me to do this video. Um, so I had that on there. And then again, the water crane, um, that was simply based off roughly what I saw that they had, but. It was just a modified kit, so nothing special went into that. After that, it was quite simple. We had the banking at the back, got the weeping willow, the fence, the station um, platform, which was, that was again quite easy. That's just some foam X. Yeah, and um, just some ballast to act as the top surface, keep it simple. Um, yeah, and that was that. So did you learn anything from the first one that you incorporate into the second one? Um, in, the, in the way, the manufacturing process and I don't know, because this was a completely different thing. So the first one was so simple because it's all like shrubbery, whereas the platform was the entertaining bit for me on this one. Um, I didn't like, my, you know, if I could do this again, I would have a longer station, naturally, because those two curves that are in between the two points, you know, it wasn't easy to get them together. There was almost felt a bit of tension, you know, yeah. sitting there. Um, if I was doing that again, then I would have learned something. Whereas the first one, apart from not doing the the control for the points. You know, I, I, I had a go at doing the banking, so that was good. Um, I'd have my practice with that. Um, yeah, so I think with that one, I, I that was it was quite straightforward, but very complicated at the same time, compared to the first one. But at the same time, it was quite simple. So. Okay. And then we've gone to number three, yep. which is the forest. So yeah, so this one on my, uh, on my bit, I've labelled it as the woods. Um, I've always liked the, you know, the railway series, Thomas Tank Engine, Series Four. Then you'd have the locos, the little navigator locos, going through the forest scene, uh, wiggling through, and you've got a little fence, trees all around it, and you've got to look through to see the locos. Um, and then looking through the Vale of Idol book that I picked up from uh, Leighton Buzzard Motor, uh, uh, Leighton Buzzard Railway, I say Motor Railway. Um, I've got a five pound book, and uh, all about the Vale of Idol. Um, so, but I saw similar scenes and it just looked nice I thought I want that um, and actually people have commented it's nice to look at the loco in between the trees as it comes through yeah. 
Um, that was the easiest one. It was the messiest and most fun um, because you're putting lots of uh, leaves onto the, the trees. So that was very enjoyable. So yeah, it was it was very good to do that one. One thing I've always liked about when I built model railways is is that is that effect where you see a train come into view, you see it, it comes faster, it disappears, and then you wonder where it's going to. Yeah. Uh, and it's, that's something always nice on a on model railway. If you see it and you lose it, then you're looking for it to find out where it's yeah. gone. Yeah. And that's where you spot the decals and. Uh, you know, just you see the things that you you might miss mm -hmm. by when you're looking for stuff. Yes. Uh, so it is that, that cat and mouse moment where you just like hunting. Yeah, so it is absolutely. good. And I think we need to move move the, the tripod yeah. up again. Skip uh, over to the. And this is the last the last part. Yeah. So we've got the bridge, <laughs> nice and simply put. I kept it simple for my, my little plan when I did it. Now the Vela Rydal, there's an ice bridge where the loco goes over. Um, this I try to match the trestle shape underneath. Um, and same as kind of how the style was on top. I would change a few things if I did it again, um, but I try to incorporate the supporting rail that goes on the center of the track. Um, the bits that didn't go well, for, ready for the show, was getting the water in there to a good height. Yeah. Uh, the first pour of water took felt like forever to I should have used the resin stuff in the end but I'd heard horror stories about the resin stuff as well so then you think well what should I do but I enjoyed it I added the roots and the banking I'd seen on Luke Tower's videos I don't take credit for things that you know using soil from your garden um, roots from weeds um, put them on the banking it worked out really nicely so it was it was a fun construction as a bit of engineering yeah. went into this one. So, so is this the first time we've done water as well? Yeah, yeah, and I've been holding it off for ages. I should have had a little practice with uh, something. I, I poured some of the water to see if it said, and it, it said, um, on, on a bit of plastic. And then once I did this, what I found was that the, I think it was a water-based pour, yeah. um, it reactivated the... PDI. Yeah, yes. and the, I still had this, the horror <laughs> I felt when I see everything going white underneath. But actually, it's gone away. I've only got like one spot where I've got a little white section. Um, so I'm gonna, I want to end up building this up, I don't know, maybe two centimetres, three centimetres. So you've got a good height to it, like I've seen in the pictures. Yeah. Um, but I think I'll probably test some resin on there, a thin bit, see how that goes, and then build that up. If you, if you can sometimes add a bit of acrylic paint, yeah. just to take the, uh, to tint the water slightly. Yeah, otherwise it's like uh, a sheet of glass. Yeah, so you, yeah. you, can, you might be able to lose the, the white dots. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's very true. Yeah, the murkiness would definitely hide that, wouldn't yeah, it? Absolutely, yeah. Um, but, you know, it, for the first effort, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And, yeah. You know, hats off to you for having a layer to the next mission. Yeah, as the first one. So it's, no, it's, uh, it's it's been fun, and, and actually, I come to exhibitions. I want to look around, um, and so thank you to you for helping with Zach um, today, so I can have a little look around and take some video. Um, which has been nice and I haven't bought anything it's the first time you've done an exhibition yes um, you know I haven't even because uh, he gave you lunch I haven't spent any money today <laughs> which is a very strange thing when you're at a show um, so uh, I'll try and maybe make up for it tomorrow morning before the show starts yeah, and go and raid someone yeah, uh, buy something I know I did buy some stuff I bought some stuff from Tony's Trains of Rugby okay. I bought um, a Statfold Barn um, van and then the one that's on the back of Little Red that I call it a little break that brake van yeah bought that from him because I I wasn't trusting on the rolling stock I had um, so yeah one nice thing today that I've had is um, my Vela Rydal 040 not that that existed yeah. but I did my take on one and that's been running really nicely so I finished that lovely, lovely yeah ride. I finished it yesterday morning and um, oh, it's been a star so far it's, it's, so. It, it's a really nice I'm just going to come across the bridge in a yeah, moment yeah be coming over uh, the, the bridge in I say in any minute they're, they're not flying over there are they but it's a really nice looking train with chocolate and cream and yep. uh, Brunswick green, you can't yeah. quite can't really not that can you? It was quite nice for me today, um, the the guys that volunteer slash work at Vela Rydal, um, they came and introduced themselves today, uh, apparently the guy that, um, well let's say the big boss man that, that, that does the main work there, um, he's been watching and told them about it, so then um, uh, they kind of introduced themselves and they've said about coming over, bring the layout with me. Um, and um, yeah, have it sitting next to one of the big uh, tank engines they have there, and uh, finish maybe the video off, you know, being yeah. there. So that would be very, oh, very cool. Yeah. I'd be so. very pleased to go there. So you've already got an invite to another show. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 
So, um, yeah. And what's the plans next? Are we going to see this extended or are we going to do... Well, the, the problem is, is, is for me, so if I extend this, I, I need somewhere to put it. Um, I've probably got a few more shelves I could put up in put bits, bit places. Um, yeah. But then if you go to a show, you then have an even longer layout. So yeah. to be accommodated for, then it's a next bit. I think all I would do is I'd put two corners on. Yeah. So um, where the um, fiddle yards are, there'd be 90 degrees to the layout. Um, so then I'd have little corner bits to wrap around. So it's not finishing yeah. end on end. So, and I think corner would be interesting because it adds interest when you yeah. go around that curve. So I think that's what I would do if I had two more modules. I don't know what I'd put on them, but you know, they've had lovely rolling landscape at the Vela Rydal, so yeah. maybe just two bits like that. Yeah. So Pl Plenty of time to find inspiration and yeah. have a go. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole principle of this is it can go on a shelf and get put away. Yeah. Um, so I need to still encompass that. So if I make an L-shaped corner, I need to think about what, what am I doing here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. No, no, uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, it's been great fun playing today and playing mm. the trains and... Oh yeah, and it's been great having you yeah. helping. It really and, has. And you'll be, if anyone's watching tonight, you'll be back here tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah, Sunday back the here the tomorrow. Sunday the 2nd of April at Stafford. Yes, yes. Uh, I've been told Sunday is not as busy a day, so if you want to have a look at models and yeah, have a good look around, it'll be a good day to come. It's quite now now, it's the afternoon. It's quite quiet um, now. Yeah, it was very busy this morning. Um, yeah, it's quite intimidating when you've got loads of people yeah. coming and you want a loco to run and well, it might not be running. Absolutely. Um, or you've got a problem and then they walk off by the time you get it going and you're like, hey, come back. Well, just got it going. Welcome to the world of exhibitions. Yeah, I felt like, oh, come on. I've just been trying my hardest. You just walked away. It's, it's like the world of, um, you know, social media, Instagram, you're flicking through pictures. It's, it's not interesting. interesting. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, you've got 30 seconds, otherwise they're gone. It's about right to be fair. Yeah. But it's been brilliant. Nice talking yeah. to you. Oh, no, nice uh, talking to you. And we'll hopefully see you in, uh, hopefully see you at Wally in November. Oh, I'll, I'll come and visit. <laughs> uh, yeah, see that. Could be next. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, I'll bring a piece of it. I can put it next to you, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been fun doing an exhibition so far, um, but you, you need a team with you. Yes, hard work. You know, I was initially just going to come on my own. Uh, we've been exhausting. Yeah, you wouldn't um, have on your own. Yeah, I've been so grateful to have Zach here and yourself helping. Yeah, so. Um, so that's been wonderful, so thank you. No problem, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you then.